Hi, to write a solution for bucket sort, the first thing we do is understand what is bucket sort. So bucket sort is a method that breaks the values inside our unsorted array into buckets in which values inside our input array are, are grouped by their range. So then we, for each bucket we have uh, created, we will run an insertion sort on them respectively. Then we can concat all the uh, buckets and then get our result array. Pretty straightforward, right? So let's write our functions. First thing we do, write the insertion sort because bucket sort needs insertion sort to work. So function insertion sort needs an input array. Then first thing first, check the length of the input array. If it's smaller than two, then we return the input array. Then write a for loop, start with second position and uh, stop at the end position and have i plus plus every time we we run this block of code here so then we can declare time passing the input array and index of five first because this placeholder and this value will change once we write the second for loop right so it's going to be var j equals to i minus one so j will be used while to declare because we need to access j outside of its declaring block anyways uh, continue j should be at least bigger than zero so the index will work on the input array and uh, j input array at j should be at least bigger than our temp Okay, so j minus minus every time we run this block of code. Okay, so in here we do the push j plus one, push the values that are bigger than our pointing value to its right by one position. So like this. After this full block down, that is done, our space is cleaned up. We can then use the space we cleaned up and passing the value stored in the top. After, after this is done, return our input array. Yes, I think our insertion sort is completed. So let's just run the console log. The, uh, let's console log the output to double check, shall we? So passing the unsorted array, in, passing the copy. The file name is bucket sort. So uh, yes, our array is sorted by our insertion sort. So then let's move on to bucket sort, shall we? So let's um, move down the input array first so that we can see clearly and delete this line. Bucket sort takes in the input array. Check the length of the input array. So one, two, ten input array. Okay, second thing, get the max and the minimum value so that we can calculate the array size of our bucket array. And let's later show what, what, what do I mean by that. So we need the minimum value. Okay, first, then initialize the value with the first element of the input array. And we need the max value, do the same for the max value. Okay. Then we can write a for float let value of uh, input array. If it's uh, bigger than the max value, we update the max value, right? If uh, you see if um, its value is smaller than the minimum value, we will update the minimum value. Instead, double check. Okay, good to go. So, by the end of this four block, our minimum value and max value will be decided. Then we can do to uh, initialize um, bucket range equals to five. So from zero to five will be one. Zero to five include zero and exclusive exclusive five would be a range, one uh, range and uh, from five to 10 would be another range. If we use bucket range equals to five, but you can use any value in here and pass it as a parameter. But in here, let's just use five first. Okay, so let bucket array 
size equals to okay ensure we get the integer in the end mass floor first then we need to write max value deduct by minimum value and uh, di di divided by bucket range and plus one so let me show you what does it what does it what do i mean so we have uh, 10 elements here so and max value is equals to nine nine minus zero equals to nine nine divided by five equals to get mass four will be equals to one so but we need actually a size two uh, bucket array so we plus one here okay so once the bucket array size is decided then we can declare our bucket array so bucket array will be equals to array dot from passing up uh, object like uh, array like object so it's going to have a tribute of loss equals to bucket array size then we can write a map function passing square to initialize each values that are newly created each array that was near each um, placeholder that was uh, initialized okay if you don't if you're unclear about this function you can check out my other tutorial read thought i believe in there is a more detailed explanation of how how to combine with this method okay so after this is done we can do another four we can okay i think we can start pushing values from input array to our bucket so for let value of uh, input array all right and bucket array should uh, use the index of uh, mass dot law have value okay another bracket here so have value this time deduct itself by the minimum value and divide by our uh, bucket range i think this should output the the right index so for example four deduct by uh, zero four four divided by five equals to zero then we push the value at uh, position zero. Okay, I think it's good to go. Mm. Yeah, I think then we just need to push the value inside here and the, this four block weight is done. So after our bucket array has values inside, we can write another four block and this time, mm, we get each array that's inside the bucket array and let's run the insertion sort on them so insertion sort passing the value in here be sure to not pass a copy of the value and pass the value itself inside because we need to change the initial array not a copy of it so by the end of this our array will be sorted so we just need to declare another so we can write return array dot concat da, da, da. Okay, array. yeah i think this will do this will return us with the right output okay so let's test out the solution if you are unclear about this step you can also check the reddick sort solution you know there's more detailed explanation there so um bucket sort passing the unsorted array dot slice again you can see our array is sorted great so let's start to test our uh, more complicated uh, solution uh, you know, input and make sure this uh, solution works yes as you can see our array is sorted so this uh, function is going to work on negative numbers float zero as well so this is typically how we can write a bucket sort in javascript thank you for watching